Hey guys, Andrew Beckford here at E3 2015 going on right behind me. Uh, I am here to tell you about my very first taste of F1 2015 by Codemasters. It's right here in the Namco Bandai booth and I finally, finally had a chance to play it after watching all these videos and looking at all the screenshots and such. Uh, I have to say that Formula One racing on the new consoles, Xbox One, PS4, is everything that you would expect it to be. They finally got a chance to put in all the detail and uh, graphic fidelity that they've always wanted to do but were limited by with the last gen consoles like 360 and PS3. Not that those games didn't look good, but F1 2015 is just simply on a it's on another level. Uh, but that's, you know, that's all superficial. What you guys really want to know about is gameplay. I'll tell you right now, if you're worried about this game being too arcadey, uh, you can put all those fears to bed right now because I just played uh, F1 2015 with all the assist off with a Thrustmaster steering wheel and I suck, like I really badly, like it's, it's kind of not funny how much I suck in this game. You'll see it when I cut away to the video of me trying it out on the simulator, it just didn't work out well. But the part to take away from that is that that means that they really nailed the realism and the physics. They're actually using a brand new physics engine for this game that's different than what they used for the previous games and you, it shows. You can definitely feel that there's a change in steering response, grip, uh, the way the car reacts in the turns, the way the car reacts if you get hit, if you hit someone else. Uh, it's just very, very realistic feeling. At least, I mean, the closest I can say is how it feels. I don't know what it's like to drive a real F1 car. Very few people know what that's like, but I would imagine that it was close to what I was experiencing during my short time with F1 2015. So you gameplay uh, fanatics who are worried about the realism and the feel, uh, you guys have nothing to worry about. If you're not as great at the game, but you still want it, uh, and you're kind of like me where you maybe turn on one or two assists, that's still there. It'll still be forgiving, but not too forgiving. So you still have to know what you're doing. Uh, as always, I feel like this game would probably be best to be played with the wheel. Like I said, uh, in the exhibit, they had the uh, Thrustmaster wheel, but they will make the uh, game compatible with the new Logitech G29 for the PS4 and the G920 for the Xbox One, as well as a new uh, Fanatic, or is it Fanatec, uh, wheel that's coming out for the Xbox One as well. So if you're planning on getting those new wheels uh, for that experience, F1 2015 will work uh, with those wheels as well, so you don't have to worry about that. I didn't get a chance to play with a controller, I would assume that it would still be just as responsive and just as fun to play with a controller, but I mean, let's face it, when you're getting a racing game like Formula One or Forza Motorsport or what have you, you want to play with the wheel. You kind of just want to do that. I understand it's a big investment, but in the end, it's worth it because it just adds to the experience of the game. But in case you hadn't figured it out yet, my first experience with F1 2015 was a good one. Hopefully they keep that momentum going in the final product of the game. Uh, hopefully, we will get a chance to get an early copy so I can give you a full review and we'll see if they stuck to their guns on uh, what I played today. Anyway, I'm Andrew Beckford and that's been my experience with Codemasters F1 2015.